Hey everybody, it's Jerry. Yo, this is a camp stove comparison. I'm gonna compare the Newly Palm, which I had for about a year, and uh, a new stove that I just recently got called Oh Hoo Hoo. <laughs> oh Hoo Hoo. Good old Hoo Hoo. And I am going to uh, I'm going to do like a burn off, see which one burns the best. And I'm going to start my fire with some flint and steel. One of my buddies, he's having a little rough time getting the old flint and steel technique down. So I'm going to give him little pointers. He needs some char cloth or whatever kind of other type of uh, tender source you're going to use. A piece of flint, flint rock with good sharp edges. Eh, where'd your camera go, Jerry? Put your char cloth on your piece of flint. You need a steel striker. This is Arrowhead, uh, the uh, shoot ember, ember lit Arrowhead striker. These are very good. They're expensive, but they're very good. Then you strike it. Just graze the uh, the sharp edge of your flint with your striker. Let me get that on there a little better. Actually, let me turn it to where a little sharper edge is. The the the, the spark from the flint and steel will hit your your uh, uh, shoot your char cloth. You see how it's glowing red? Which means you got your fire. Got your fire. Let me angle you down here so you can see what I'm doing. You know what I'm going to use? Go ahead and just use a piece of a brown paper bag. Crank that sucker up a little bit. char cloth inside the brown paper bag like this and we'll blow it into fire and let there be fire jury let the fire come on take you back down here I'll throw in some A little bit of this burning stuff. Eh. I'm adding some birch bark just to get it going real good. This birch bark is called paper birch because you can you can peel that off. Look how easy that just peels apart. Birch bark, it has some some type of oil in the bark that uh, makes it good and combustible. Not combustible, but start a good fire with it. The newly palm seems to be doing pretty damn good, but I got a little, little extra wood or uh, birch bark in it. What you guys already saw. I'll tell you a little bit about both stoves. As soon as I can get this wood in there pretty good. 
tell you a little bit about both stoves after I don't if I don't burn myself up. All right, the uh, the Ohuhu, which is on this side, is a gasifier stove. The Noodley Palm, the way it's made, it kind of looks like a gasifier, but it's not. Okay, with the with the Noodley Palm, I've used this quite a few times out camping and stuff with the wife, and it burns the wood up. It burns up really, really fast. You have to have a big pile of wood to do any kind of cooking on this thing. I like the stove. It works good and all. It burns really hot, but you burn up all your uh, all your wood real fast in it. Now the gas fire, I've used it a couple of times already, and I really, really like it. I like it a whole lot. It burns a lot longer. It burns really hot too. It actually burns hotter than the, the newly palm, but it don't burn up half as much wood. So what I would recommend between the two, well, I would recommend, I would recommend the uh, Ohuhu, the gasifier. The one on this side. It's actually even cheaper than the newly palm. Newly palm, it's got a, it's got a slot in it right here. You can see it right here to add your wood. The oh, hoo hoo, it don't. So anytime, if you're cooking on it, anytime you need to add, any anytime you need to add your wood to there, you have to take your pot off or whatever you're using and uh, put your wood in, then put it back on. With the with the newly palm, you don't. With the newly palm at the bottom, you got the the uh, the air holes is way way bigger than the ohuhu. I'm thinking that it should be. I mean, it, it may be made that way, but I don't know. I mean, for a reason, but I don't know the reason. Still yet, what would I would the one I would pick would be the ohuhu. <laughs> Good old hoo hoo. I put twice as much wood in, into the newly palm and it's burning down pretty quick. The old hoo hoo, I put nowhere near as much wood in it. Like half as less wood in the old hoo hoo. And it's, I mean, it don't look like it's burned up too much at all. I wish I could show you down inside there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's about as good as it's going to get. The Ohuhu's a gas fire. The Newly Palm is not. The Newly Palm, it looks like a gas fire. It looks like it maybe should have been a gas fire, but it's not. Definitely is not. I thought it was when I first got it. It was sent to me to review. This one, the, the Newly Palm was sent to me to do a review. It's a good stove. You know, if it's all that you got, you, it's, it would definitely work. The Ohuhu was sent to me by my buddy Rich just as a gift. And man, it is nice. It is really, really awesome. I really like it a whole lot. I'm gonna be doing a video really soon on bug out bags. I did have the newly palm in my bug out bag, but I'm gonna be taking it out and replacing it with the ohuhu. <laughs> I like saying ohuhu if you didn't notice. The uh the, the ohuhu has these little arms to put your pot or your pan or whatever on. The newly palm has cross arms. And look at there. The newly palm is almost burnt out. There's just some red ash. There's just a piece of a couple little twigs of wood inside there. And I added twice as much to this as I did the Ohuhu. And it is still, it's still kicking chicken there, buddy. Kicking chicken.
that's a big old difference right there especially whenever you're out in the woods and you're in a hard spot and you don't need to be out walking around trying to trying to gather wood to burn oh who who is the winner by far by far the winner I was going to cut out a slot in this one in the oh hoo hoo just like this one for just to to add wood but it would screw up the gasifying features of this uh, of this stove which I could maybe cut it out right here in this top plate and it might not but then again it might but you know I don't care at all not one bit to just take my pot or pan off the off the top here long enough to throw in a few pieces of wood ain't gonna hurt a bit but that's it that's it the it's the oh hoo hoo for the win. Anyway, that's it for me, y'all. Uh, y'all take it easy. I'll see you later. Check out my next video. Don't forget to like, share, thumbs up. I mean, thumbs up, share, and, and something else. I don't know. But I'll see y'all later.